Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I'm continuing my playthrough of the SNES classic, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and now return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. And we're back. We're in the castle. We're getting ready to go up to the seventh floor to save the princess. Hopefully. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> I'm at half health, so that's not exactly helping anything. Aha! Anandir, I have been waiting for you. <laughs> I was hoping I could make Zelda vanish in front of your eyes. Behold, the last moment of Princess Zelda. Not likely. I know there's plenty more uh, games that come after this one. Ho ho ho. With this, the seal of the seven wise men is at last broken. It is now only a matter of time before evil power converts this land. After all, the legendary hero cannot defeat us, the tribe of evil, when we are armed with the power of gold. Ho ho ho. Now I must go. <laughs> I love how they make you, uh... Yeah. Gee, where did he go? Oh. Oh, so you mean to, s <laughs> to say you would like to be totally destroyed? Well, I can make your wish come true. Ah, come on. Hmm. That's right, the fireballs are usually the ones that work a little bit easier than those guys. The one you got to worry about is when he teleports to the center. Because uh, that usually means it's about to be a lightning bolt. Yeah. Ow. I love it. Ow. Eat it. Come on, throw another one of them fireballs. What you got? Oh, I forgot to start my timer. Oh, oops. I forgot my own advice. Well met, like the true hero you are. But I am not yet ready. Not yet. I am not ready to admit defeat yet. I'll draw you into the dark world. So you're saying it ain't over yet. And on Junior, it is I. I'm communicating to you across the void uh, through the <laughs> through telepathy. The place where you now stand was the Golden Land, but evil power turned it into the Dark World. The wizard has broken the wise men's seal and opened a gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. Um, this means that every time you walk through the main gate of Hyrule Castle, instead of going into the castle, you go to the Dark World, which is actually going to be useful. In order to save this half of the world, the Light World, you must win back the Golden Power. You must also rescue the Seven Maidens who Angam sent to the Dark World. As members of the bloodline of the Seven Wise Men, they have power that will surely help you. The Maidens are locked in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world. I can rely on only you. That's a little awkward. Uh, please make this old man's wishes come true. I beg you. Oh, well, at least I got, you know, full health back. Uh, so, you'll notice we no longer have pennants. We got seven crystals in our right hand. Um, in, in the right hand column there, that middle yellowish block. So that is our new goal, is to find the seven maidens. You'll notice that the Dark World looks an awful lot like the Light World. This is one of those things where somebody very clever realized that with a little bit of overlay magic, you could double up the available game space without actually doubling up the available memory in the cartridge. 
And so this is a way to give a, a far more expansive world than was available um, previously in the limited the limited capacity of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, SNES. Okay. <clears throat> um, what I need to do is I need to get to my notes for this half. All right. Uh, as we go in the dark world, there are people who will tell you their story for 20 rupees if you want that we can do that I will not just because I'd rather use the money for other things we need to hang to the right a little bit on the temple because over here is a piece of heart which gives us another complete heart to work with which is awesome um, what else was it I needed to go to is it the bomb shop no, not the bomb shop. The item shop? Yeah, I guess I'll talk to the guy in the... Uh, okay. Yeah, there's a couple of things that we need to do, one of which won't be until we get to the where the cemetery was, which we won't be able to get there just yet, I don't think. Uh, I do want to show off up here. This is going to become important later. We can't blow it up. We, we can't dash. We can't. There's nothing we can do to break that yet. But, uh, we're getting there. Those guys take a lot <laughs> to kill. They, uh, they are not ours for the killing just yet. Alright, what I want to do is I want to come up in this way first. Because we got two things we need to do. This should seem awfully familiar. Oh, oh, that's right. Not all those were rocks. Short-term memory. And we'll get to pounding in those stakes a little bit later. Oh. Use uh, my attention span. Uh, also, if you notice, the trees look like they have faces. We'll, we'll get to that in a little bit, too. Oh, no, no, no. Crikey. You know, fine, 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 fine. I'm going into the shop. <sighs> 50 bucks for our old shield. 50 bucks for... <laughs> 50 bucks. 50 rupees for 10 bombs. And 150 for... I need an empty bottle. I was hoping he'd uh, let me have that right now, but... Alright, I guess I'll have to find my way to uh, some health. Surely there's uh, some hearts to be had in here now. No! No, 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 no! Oh, you bum. No hearts? Oh! No. Fine. Fine. So that is one of the shops. And this away somewhere. Yeah. Oh, no. Wrong button. Wrong button. got the world's most annoying alarm done. Um, I mean, I'll 
mistake the money. That is not my primary concern at the moment. That is. I gotta remember that uh, the red shield can block those fireballs. You just gotta be facing it with a shield out. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do with your circle of stones? I'm going to throw your own stupid sign in there. Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give this to you if you go away. This is the Quake Medallion. Its magic causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. Watch your magic meter. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, sorry. Check my du double check my notes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That's the item shop. The just south of the Dark Palace Garden. Okay. All right. Basically, what we're going to have to do is. Uh, because it helps if I actually have focus on the game. So now we've got Ether and Quake. And they consume a ton of magic. Uh, what we're basically going to have to do is for the crystals, we're going to have to go revisit all the places we did in the light world, but now in the dark world. So just like we did the Eastern Palace in the light world, we're now going to do the Dark Palace that is where the Eastern Palace was. This is where we needed the 110 rupees. Uh, because you need to pay off the monkey who will help you get there. It'll make sense in a minute. Let's, um, let's see if I can make it there with what health I have. Because there, there is a ferry near there. So we will have the opportunity to uh, replenish our life a smidgen. Uh, <laughs> max money. Ow! That's antithetical to my purposes. No. I'll take that, though. One more heart. Hmm. That's always nice. Uh, the Lake of Ill Omen. There was something else we needed to do, but I don't think it was here. Because there's a couple of places, now, now that we got the Dark World to go in and out of, you're going to find that there's a couple of places that you want to visit where you get somewhere in the Dark World and it opens up an opportunity in the Light World that you didn't have before. So there's going to be some inaccessible areas that uh, will now be accessible. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, but this is, this is the downside to having higher health. Yeah, those guys you really want to kill with uh, <laughs> with their own bombs. Throw their bombs back at them or something. There we go.
Yeah, one of those is helping. Come on, give me hearts. Hearts, I tell you. I'll take it. Ask and you shall receive. Alright. That's even better. Oh, maybe I'll, uh... No? No. I was beginning to wonder if I could replenish all my hearts by killing these guys. There is a cave just a little bit further over. Uh... Oh. Yeah, it's pretty much where the cave was in the light world as well. Uh, if you look at these faces on the trees, when you see one that has pupils in the eyes that look like they're looking at you and following you, uh, those are guys that will actually talk to you. Uh, but we'll get to that when we find one. First, I will soothe your wounds and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. Let's get to the dark palace and then and then we'll take a break. Cause that that's gonna be that's gonna be a bit of a long one and this is gonna take a take a hot minute. Although at least with eight hundred and eighty six rupees, I can afford the bribe for our guide. Oh yeah, we'll take a look at those guys later. Uh, what was it? Somewhere around here, there were a couple of storytellers. Was that it? No. Yeah, we're about to... We're about to have to deal with the most... With a ginormous hedge maze. <laughs> it's probably the best way to describe it. sworn there were my friend could have sworn there were some uh... oh now I get a fairy okay some storytellers. I wanted to at least show where they were. Oh, bother. Okay. Oh, this is the start of the hedge maze. I, I love the very helpful arrows to at least get you started on your <laughs> on your journey. Uh, I think it's over. No. Uh, yeah. Somewhere. friend there. Okay. That part was not in my notes. Somewhere.
Oh, hi. There we go. I'm Kiki the monkey. Kiki, I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Give him 10 rupees. Good choice. I will accompany you for a while. Now. Now I just need to find the palace. There we go. If you give me a hundred rupees, I will open the entrance for you. <laughs> you. There is no way for you to open it yourself. You have to give him the hundred rupees. Good thing I earned a few. Good choice. Then I get a hundred of your rupees. There we go. All right, and we are at the Dark Palace. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is a lot more than I'm going to do in the time remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break a little bit early. And we will make our way through the Dark Palace in a little bit. Well, that was fun. And I hope you had fun too. Next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow is a live stream day. Current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow me there. You'll get notified when I go live. And you'll be able to chat along as we record the next six episodes. You'll also be able to join along for some of the other stuff I do on Twitch. It's all up there on the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel here. It really helps out. If you click the bell, you get notified of all the other stuff that goes up on the channel as well, like CoffeeCraft Livestream archives, future games revisited episodes, and uh, various other stuff that strikes my fancy. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, quips, queries, quotes, comments, complaints, or quibbles, leave them in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.